Nigerian police invade People's Gazette office in Abuja and arrest editor over story on ex-chief of army staff, Brutai. The Nigerian police have raided People's Gazette newspaper head office in Abuja and arrested one of its editors, John Adenikom. Adenikom was arrested about 12.35 p.m. on Friday by five armed police officers who broke into the newspaper's office, who broke into at plot 1095 Umar Shwahibu Avenue, Utako. The security operatives were said to have demanded to see the managing editor Samuel Ogundikbe and a reporter Ade Femola Akintade, who wrote a report on former chief of army staff, L- Lieutenant General Tukur Burutai. Oh, okay. The action of the police came days after an Abuja-based publisher and a proxy of Buruta Isabelo sued People's Gazette for allegedly defaming the ambassador to Benin Republic. The newspaper on June 23rd reported that the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, raided and recovered items including 50 luxury watches from a purported residence of Burutai. But Bello in the suit before a federal capital territory high court Abuja claimed the newspaper failed to respond to a letter dated 28th of June 2022 seeking to clarify the source of its story. Filed by Oswago Gochuku, the publisher asked the court to prevail on the defendant to supply the information requested in the letter. Wow. The point is not necessarily if or where the source of information is, rather, is the information factual? Because if there's evidence to show why does the source matter? I mean, the source, okay, fine. Dealing with the fact of the situation, the court should focus on the evidence brought before them because it's fact. And that's and that and that requires that whoever needs to be punished, a brutai, if found guilty, punished. Fine. As another separate offense, which should not necessarily mitigate the punishment of brutai, is now separate. How he then got the information also then matters. Because again, I'm I'm thinking of valid arguments that they could use against the reporter is the fact that okay fine it's either he it was told to him if it's a thing where he bribed or he forced or coerced somebody to give information or he hacked into certain files or you know he got it under illegitimate terms and then i don't know if that has to be defined in nigerian code of law but in that regard maybe an argument could be used against the reporter but then there's no evidence for that the 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 basis as to which they are accusing the reporter of acquiring the information is based on the fact that he didn't respond to a letter asking where he got the information from which is totally irrelevant the fact is what grounds would they have again the nigerian court system legal system is very much compromised i mean this is the same system that allows for the president not to have a YX certificate. So when we're talking, you know, standard of applying, I guess, common sense, if at, if at the top level it's not applied, then what do you expect? And so if, I mean, again, they're just so, I mean, what, what more evidence do you need that would show you the legal system in Nigeria is not reliable? Again, given the constitution that they have, you know, that they have, deceived all of us into thinking is a democracy they could literally come with an argument saying you know what how did you get your information and they make some argument saying that how he got his information would lead to da, 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 therefore his result is not true whatever again if we had the opportunity to watch court cases like in, in other same countries then you know the people can actually be involved but in this case i think if the people care enough they will probably would be involved to be honest i mean i think there's so many there's so many incidences where you expect the nigerian public to be involved and come to someone's defense because i think this is the only way that ideally he would get free or get um 
get pardoned is if the people because again if left to the parameters and left to the space of government officials in the court system there really isn't any hope and then even if the people get involved the most that would actually happen is adequate attention on the matter and again the uh, and more emphasis on the fact that the legal system is not to be relied upon in nigeria so there really isn't anything i guess you can add to that it is very shameful because again with the with, with, with the sequence of events and how intent things are in the moment it is very likely that this story would be forgotten and yeah and, and i think first of all i think it's very brave i mean you can have you can have your head offices and if you're a newspaper you know organizational company i mean having your head office in abuja it's, it's a pretty brave move but again anyone right now is making any pretty you know brave moves why because if you're not with one side it means you're with the other and so you choose you pick your battles who 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 is going to fight you or then you pick who your enemies are or which fight is easier for you but it's very sad because it's very likely that this case will not be given the attention that it deserves the only gift my Ijo brother Shore gives Nigeria is Sahara Potters. We appreciate that, but I want you to be obedient and useful or useful to Nigeria your country. We are all fighting for the same thing, the betterment of Nigeria. We have laws in this country. It is a toothless invasion of it is a toothless invasion if they have strong legal representation. Americans invaded Iraq, Russia to Ukraine, and Nigerian police to newspaper joints. Wow. Wow. I mean, pretty creative in that writing. Again, the word in use was that the police broke into. So again, you know, if they actually broke into it, that also, that is also, you know, they can add that to, to their defense. Even in the cell, the truth will be spoken out loud without intimidation. Sahara Reporter is the only fearless news outlet in Nigeria. You can say that. When you say fearless, I mean, you mean uncompromised. As well as, maybe to an extent, Arise TV, but I don't think they'd have as much freedom as Sahara Reporters has. And to be honest, I think... Sahara Reporters, I don't think, is run from Nigeria. Of course, they may have offices here, but reading Shore's manifesto and how he started Sahara Reporters, I think it was started in the USA, not in Nigeria. So as a registered business, you can really say he has defense if he's in America and if anything should happen, then, you know. Put what you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.